guys, Jennifer here again from My Purpley Life, and I just wanted to do this video um, to show you guys a quick variation on some pages that I did from last week's decoration video, except this is in my personal size planner. I pretty, pretty much did the same um, theme, which is this pink, orange, and yeah, pink and orange theme really bright neon colors and some of the items that I changed with this decoration was I use um, more of the Studio l 2 e stamp sets so what I did is that instead of putting that silver washi tape that I used in the A5 in the middle what I did is I used the Studio l 2 e border stamp set which I also used in the A5 pages except I use this diagonal stripe in the middle of the page so that's what I did there so you can see how I can use those border stamps to um, decorate the page instead of my washi tape also what I did is that because um, these to-do lists were my inspiration for the pages I noticed that the lines on the to-do list are orange and that the actual checklist is orange so I wanted to imitate that which I did here using the Studio Planet stamp set and the Studio L2E listed stamp set which looks like these two Done. there you go so what I did is I used the squares that were right here in the Planet stamp set and then I used the lines here in the listed stamp set so I, I'm just going to show you guys how I did that here these pages are a little bit thicker because I did print them out myself. So what I did is I took those lines and I put it onto this. It's similar to a stamping block. It's called a stamp press by Fiskars. So I placed the stamp on there. Again, it's clear so I could see exactly where I'm going to be placing the stamp. And I'm going to take my Mango Madness in Versa Magic Chalk ink. I want the lines to be orange, just like that to-do list there. And the great thing about this is that it has these thick foam pads. So I can place this anywhere I want to onto the paper so that I know exactly where I'm going to attempt. Then once I know, I'm going to go ahead and press down on all four corners. Squeeze my fingers inside, press that down, and there you go. I'm going to do that again all the way down the page. is a really neat tool to have you can even kind of wiggle it around on the phone before you really stamp and press down So now I'm going to take those check boxes, which I've placed on a clear block like this. This is by Making Memories. Again, these are clear stamps, so you will need a stamp block to stamp them. I'm going to be stamping in Rosebud, which is this nice bright pink color. Just going to dab that ink on there and then put that in between the lines like this and you don't want to press too hard otherwise it might distort the image of the stamp so you really just want to just tap that on there quickly just a quick tap you can see how that turns out there I'm going to zoom in just a little bit so you can really see how that looks like Just like that. One more time. I'm 
get that quick tap. Again, you want to make sure you wipe your stamps off right away with a BB wipe or a wet cloth and have that dry off to the side before placing it back into the packaging. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is again fill up my pages using some sticky flags. I'm going to see what events are coming up. And if these are too long for you, what you can do is just trim them off. I think that's okay. It's not too bad. But you can certainly trim it if you need to. I'm going to take another one. I'm going to use pink this time because my daughter loves the color pink. And place that right here. Again, you can see how that little bit is just sticking out. I can just trim that off. Or if you want it sticking out of the page, that's okay too, so you know that there's something important right there and one last one I'm going to use my thick tape another um, thing that you can use are these sticky notes I like to use these these um, you can find at the 99 cent store or you can get them at your office supply store We can use that as well. Now the thing, a technique that I like to use about these sticky flags, as you can see this is popping up. So what I like to do is take some double sided tape. I like to use the Tombow removable adhesive. So that way if let's say it gets cancelled or something or I need to move to it to another day, I can simply remove it and it won't destroy the page. But you just glide that on just like white out and then stick that onto the page. Let's see, this is in the daytime. I want to put that on the top of the page and that's sticking out. You can either leave that or trim it off. I like to trim it off so you have that there. I'm just going to write in the important things with my washi tape pen I'm going to zoom in here so you guys can see how I write okay oops let me see So I'm going to put another note I'm going to grab another sticky flag and put it right on top of there So, 
that's how that looks like. I'm going to go ahead and put this into my planner now. As you can see how that looks like inside the planner. And it's going to look just like that. Again, I like to put a fly leaf right in the middle. I am using one right now, but I'm going to just grab this one just to show you guys how that would look like. I can take my little to-do list and place it on there. So those are my pages inside my planner, my personal size planner. If you guys have any questions or comments please leave them down below in the description bar don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like this tutorial and i will see you all next time thanks for watching bye